Hey y'all, Jay Brick here, and welcome back to another LEGO Super Mario review, guys. Today we got set number 71438, Super Mario World with Mario and Yoshi. Guys, I am so excited to be opening up this set, guys. This set looks so good, and I love the 2D art style that they have with Mario in the cape outfit, and then my boy Yoshi. This looks so awesome. I love that you could actually like also move it. That's another awesome thing. And I love that Nintendo and Lego are actually going with different franchises from the Mario theme. Because we have now Mario World sets. So we might actually get more of these, which is awesome. Because we've gotten so far Luigi's Mansion sets and Mario Kart sets are coming out. So this is awesome that they're actually doing different franchises from the Mario theme. And that is so, so awesome. But I cannot wait to open up the set and show you guys everything. I, I'm so excited. But further ado, let's get into it. First thing that you see in the front of the box, we do got my boy Mario in the cape outfit, uh, riding Yoshi in the green plains. Probably from World 1, uh, the Yoshi's Island, uh, from Super Mario World, which is awesome. I love how they actually have, like, a little green in the background. Uh, we have, like, you know... Some of the green and brown for the dirt. And I love the detail that they added. And the same thing with the coloring for the characters. Uh, with Mario's like pants is a bit different colored. I love that a lot. And the same thing with the cap and Yoshi as well. Uh, another thing that's awesome. That they actually have the Super Mario logo on the bottom. And this is the Super Mario World Mario and Yoshi set. But man this looks awesome. I Like it, it, it is incredible this set. So it is, it is insane. Uh, but on the bottom of the box, we got the Lego logo, we have the 18 plus, we have the set number, uh, we have the piece count, which is 1,215 pieces, uh, and then we have the nice little green, like, 18 plus background that usually Lego uses for their 18 plus sets. But that's the front of the box. Let's move on to the side, uh, where we've just basically got some more uh, details and basically just more text about, like, the different names uh, for the set. And same thing goes on the bottom where we also got the Nintendo uh, official logo. Uh, and then basically when the set was made, where it was manufactured. all Basically all manufactured details that these companies have to put on their sets. Uh, so it's just more like, you know, numbers and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. Now this is probably one of my favorite sites because we have the Lego Super Mario World logo actually together. And then we actually have another render of Mario and Yoshi. Uh, of that's just amazing like how this looks it is incredible i love the render how they have like different angles uh for this set and it just looks so awesome with mario and yoshi uh on the green background and then we have the nice little green uh 18 plus background which i i do like that a lot now let's go take a look at the top of the box uh which we actually have the super mario world logo again and then the th four different colors for this set to represent this set which is awesome that they actually did that and it just looks so awesome and i love how they actually added that this just looks so so cool and then we have the lego logo a uh, lego logo with just all black which is very very nice now taking a look at the bottom of the box we have a nice green background with the uh, lego super mario website uh this basically just tells you when the set was made when it was released where it was manufactured all that kind of stuff uh, and also tells you about the Lego app. Uh, it tells you about the recycling facts, all that kind of stuff that you need to know. Uh, and then we have the UPC, if you guys are trying to get this set. Uh, and yeah, that is everything in the sides in the front box. Now let's go take a look at the back of the box, which is probably one of my favorite parts about the set. So firstly, we see more details about Yoshi. We see Yoshi riding uh, Mario, or basically Mario riding Yoshi. Uh, in the cape outfit, and we do see a little mechanism right there, uh, where probably it's gonna, like, lock in, so, like, it doesn't, like, like, the tongue doesn't, like, fall out all the time, which is very nice, so they actually have a nice mechanism. Uh, we do have the measurements of how tall the set is, so it is 26 centimeters wide and 40 centimeters tall, so it's a pretty big set, I can say that. And then we have some more details about the set actually being displayed in a room or like just in, like in a basically in a house, which is awesome. It looks so good in these promotional images and it is very, very awesome. And then also we have the mechanism that we'll actually be trying out, uh, which is you can actually turn it where Yoshi will actually uh, start like running. 
And also, they'll do an animation for Mario as well. That would be awesome to see how this actually works and how this looks. So, I cannot wait. But we can see uh, Yoshi's hands and Yoshi's feet and its uh, body as well. Uh, what we do have here is just the Lego logo and the Super Mario World. And that is basically everything uh, from the full-size boxes. So, further ado, let's go actually crack in this set. I cannot wait to open up this thing. Uh, so, let's do it. All right, got the two seals off. Nice. Okay, and let's see. Okay, we got a ton of bags. So we're going to pull all of them out. We'll pull, put them here. So first bag, we actually got bag one. That is awesome. So this is bag one. Mostly all the, like, the Technic parts, all that kind of stuff. So we have bag one. We'll put that there. We have the big instruction booklet, actually. And, like, it's big, like little folder which is awesome so it's like a little little cool folder uh so we'll have to open up and show you guys how that looks uh we have bag two which we have a lot of green parts which is probably like the hill part which is awesome we'll put that over there we got bag 15 okay so i think there's in total 15 bags so that's a lot and this is the like the dirt area so that is awesome um Okay, we have a lot of plates in here, so we have, like, a ton of these plates. Uh, we have also some plates from, like, junior sets, I just realized that, like, four plus sets, uh, and some, like, base plates from other, like, type of themes from LEGO. So that's awesome that they actually added in, like, different parts from, like, different themes. That's awesome. Uh, we have bag six. This is also more Technic parts. It's not a lot, but, uh, you know, that's all right. We got bag seven, uh, which does look like Yoshi so far because there's a lot of green and uh, orange, like actually shown off with his legs. So uh, that is awesome. Uh, we have another bag. We have bag four, and this is more, I think, Technic pieces and also more Yoshi pieces. So I think it will actually be starting with Yoshi and then Mario ending off, which is nice. I actually really wanted actually to do that. Uh, so that's awesome that they did that. Uh, we have bag three with more just like a lot of Technic parts. So this thing does use a lot of Technic parts more mostly just because of the feature that you can actually like pull it and that it can like rotate and like Mario can walk in Yoshi as well. So that is awesome. But bag 14, you can see we have some blue pieces for Mario's overalls already. So that is awesome. So we'll be, yeah, I feel like, yeah, we're actually be finishing off this set with, uh, with Mario. So... That's awesome. Bag 10, we got more green pieces for this set. Pretty, pretty awesome. I like that a lot. Uh, and then we have bag 9. We got more. We actually got like a rubber band in here as well. And then we have more red pieces for Mario. Um, we have bag 11. We have bag 5. We have a little tiny bag of 12 for Mario. That's awesome. Uh, we have bag 13, which is actually a lot of, like, flesh pieces from Mario's face. I've never seen these much, like, this type of, like, color before in LEGO. So, I don't know if this is new, but this, it looks very nice. I don't know why it looks... It looks eye-dropping. It, it looks very, very nice, which I can't lie. Uh, we have bag 8, which is more Technic parts. Uh, and then actually the final bag, uh, it's a lot of these beam pieces, uh, probably for like the support for like the set and all that. Uh, but guys, this is a lot of bags. Like, just look at all these bags uh, for this set. And I can't, I can't wait to uh, be building it and showing off to you guys. But further ado, let's review it and build it, guys. And here's the set, guys. Now, wow. Oh my god, this set is so awesome i love this set so much the detail is so crazy on the set with those little bricks it is incredible of how much they have added into the set it looks so good in the front of the side it looks completely like a collector's item i don't know why but it looks so good and it feels like a collector's item like you could put this next to an snes and it it would just match 100 percent but guys, this is one of my favorite uh, sets. It looks so awesome, and the detail is so, so amazing on this. And the building experience, firstly, 
that was actually very fun. Like, you would probably think it would be tedious to make all of, like, these little bricks. But no, it's actually very fun. They show you step by step on different colors, like, different, basically, fades of the colors for Mario and Yoshi itself. Which was actually very convenient. It helped out a lot uh, during the building of uh, this set in the process as well. It was just very, very nice. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, but further ado, let's get into the review of the set. Firstly, we're going to actually go check out the instructions. So when you open up the instruction, uh, usually the 18 plus sets would be like in this big envelope. So I took this actually out and it looks so awesome. It looks completely like the box and you know the set. So this is kind of weird seeing three of these uh, at once, but it is so awesome. I love the detail on this. We have the Lego uh, Super Mario World set with the set number and the PNG or just like a shot front of the set, which is awesome. I love how they actually add this. And then you can also scan this uh, if you wanted to just build it from the app itself. Uh, so that is awesome. In the back of it also shows a bit movement, actually. And we'll actually be showing that off as well in the set, which is pretty, pretty amazing. But man, this instruction looks super awesome. I love the set. Like, this entire build is just amazing. But when you actually get into this set, you actually get a little story from actually Super Mario World, which is incredible that they added this in. Firstly, we have different renders uh, of Mario and Yoshi. Then we actually have a render uh, from 1-2 uh, from Yoshi's Island, uh, where you actually have Yoshi and Mario together. Uh, we have some of the coins, we have some of the planes. Uh, and then actually you guys can uh, read this if you guys want to. It just tells you the Super Mario story. Uh, having returned from a piece of from Mushroom World, Mario and Luigi uh, discovers to take a... Like, it is just awesome. Like, you know, it has... Like, having the story is also very cool. So, it just tells you, like, the entire story of, like, how Super Mario World starts and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it also does show you in the different languages as well. Uh, so, if you don't speak English, uh, it does have in also in the different types of languages as well. So, that's actually very nice and convenient for a lot of people if they want to, like, if they don't know a lot about Super Mario World. Uh, so, this actually kind of, like, helps you out, gets the knowledge of that story as well. Now, the second in image... Uh, of the instruction continue the story as well uh, and then we also have another image of Mario a, a clearer one with Mario and Yoshi with the cape feather we have a Koopa and we have a mushroom uh, base this is probably I think like world three or four I don't know because I know it's like a night theme mushroom area so it's very nice that they actually added in uh, like game captured from the game which is actually very very nice that they did that uh, and then we have, like, the different languages as well for the story. Uh, and then, basically, we have, like, the designers from the set uh, basically, like, talking about it, showing off, like, them two talking about the set. Uh, this one, like, moving it, showing the back of uh, the set itself. And then, basically, uh, we have, like, different languages for the designers itself who, like, basically made the Super Mario World set. Uh, and just talks about, like, how his process was, uh, how it inspired him from the games, and all that kind of stuff, which is very, very awesome that they have that. Another cool thing uh, we have is that, yes, you can actually use the digital Mario figures, and we will actually also be doing that and showing that off, how that works. I'm so excited. I've not seen it. So this will be my first honest, like, review and first honest reaction for that, what's going to happen. Uh, but it's awesome, and also says... Uh, if you have the Lego Mario, Lego Peach, or Lego Luigi, uh, you can use the little uh, NFC tag over there uh, to, you know, uh, discover what music it's playing. You can see a little tiny image of a little Mario with a little Yoshi in a green plane. Uh, and then we have Mario and Yoshi, which is so awesome. Just the, the like the scaling of like the little Mario and then the big Mario is awesome. Uh, we have some more uh, images of, like, the process of uh, the girl building uh, the set, and then more of this displaying as well. Uh, but then you just get into the set. Uh, it's just a normal instruction. There's nothing really big. Uh, what is different for uh, most of these is that you can see for, like, some of the parts where you actually build the set, uh, it will tell you the different colors for the shades 
of the pieces that you actually use so you don't like use uh like a lot of them and then they actually don't look like from the set itself uh so if you actually like the uh lego art sets you'll probably like this a lot because it has that same feeling as well because uh you have to have the same color or the right pieces for that style so uh you know it just has that and it just uh, same thing goes with Mario, where you also we uh, will be building him uh, as well for that end uh, of the set. And yeah, that is the end. It will show you the all the functions that you can do. Uh, and then there's nothing really artwork uh, for that as well. But that's very nice that we have the instruction. That is awesome. But further ado, let's go check out the box real quick one more time. And then uh, we will uh, be going through the set. So... Looking at the front of the box, uh, we do see the Super Mario World Mario and Yoshi set name for this set. Uh, we do have Mario and Yoshi as, you know, represented for this set. The iconic, uh, just basically more, you know, makes it look for more people that are actually buying this. will know that this is Mario and Yoshi, you know, so that's awesome that they did that. Uh, we have the nice uh, grass background with the nice green uh, plane, the dirt. I love the detail that they add, like, different shades of dirt as well to, like, kind of make that feeling of, yes, this is a Mario set, a Mario 1-1 style, which is awesome that they actually added that in. We do have the nice Super Mario World logo. I love that a lot. Uh, for this set and then we have the lego logo uh with the 18 plus set number piece count uh, and then just english text and i do love how they actually added green for this which kind of matches for the set for super mario world which is a green kind of style text so kind of awesome that they added that in it was very very cool uh, on this side we just have like more text about like the name and the set and where it was produced which factory uh, it was made in what year? Uh, the Nintendo official seal brand. Uh, so you you will uh, you will get basically this is official Nintendo item uh, and all that kind of quality stuff with all these Nintendo brand items. Uh, another thing that we got on here is the Lego uh, logo with the Super Mario World as well on here. We have another image of Mario and Yoshi, which is awesome. And then we have uh, some cool green roundings on that. Uh, on the back of the box, it looks very nice. I love how they have another angle of the box, uh, of, like, the model of the set itself, uh, showing off, like, the new feature with the tongue, that you can actually, like, uh, have Yoshi's tongue go out, where he can eat the apples, all that kind of stuff. Would have been cool if they actually had, like, a little apple also, like, connected towards there, uh, but it looks very, very nice so far. I like that a lot. Uh, we have the cape, we have the nice 2D image of Mario, and then basically the measurements of how tall this is. So if you're displaying this like in a glass cabinet, uh, this will basically be showing you like the measures before you buy it, and then it doesn't fit in. So it kind of helps you out, you know, measure all that type of stuff, which is very, very nice. And then we have the Mario logo on here. Same thing on the top with representing these four colors, which are the most unique four colors for the set uh, with the Super Mario World logo under there, the Lego logo. Uh, and then we just have some more images of the this being displayed in a home. Uh, the features of this can actually make Yoshi's uh, legs and arms actually move as well. And, and then the bottom is just basically plain. It's just green uh, with the Super Mario website. Uh, which year this was made in, the Recycling Facts, the app, and also the UPC if you guys are trying to get this set. So, further ado, let's get into uh, this set, guys. I cannot wait uh, to actually see the set. This set looks incredible, and it is so awesome uh, to, like, hold. So, let's actually hold it up, and oh my god, this is incredible. We're actually going to move out the box real quick on this side just so that you guys can see a clearer look. But guys, look at that the detail firstly on Mario. Now you can actually take this off actually, which is very nice. So if you wanted to just display Mario, you could actually do that. Uh, but we'll take a look at Mario actually and then we'll take a look at Yoshi. So firstly, this is the Mario 2D sprite. Uh, has also the cape that also also moves. Uh, when you actually rotate um, the lever... Uh, this cape will actually also move up, so kind of actually looks like the cape is kind of floating. I do love the different colors that they use, the ocean, uh, the light blue, uh, the baby blue, the dark blue. Uh, a lot of these nice colors for Mario, like the reddish, I like that a lot. Uh, the tone, which I've never seen that in a lot of these sets before actually in. 
Uh, so that's actually very nice that they use like these little flesh colors uh, to make it realistic. We have Mario's emblem up there, uh, which is which is very nice. And it is, you know, it they didn't have to add any detail in like, you know, making a print in there. It, you know, this is a 2D figure. You, you won't anyway see it in the game as well. So uh, this is very nice that they just added that in as well. But it's a very nice build. Uh, we do have some bricks here. So most of everything is not flat. Uh, but you can see like Mario's mustache, his ears, uh, and his top uh, hair uh, is not flat. Which is alright. But, you know, it kind of... You, they had to do that, I feel like. Uh, so it's like not all flat. And also like it wouldn't have like falled all apart. Would have made sense. Uh, and then also I love how it's like most of like some of these bricks will like pop out. It's like a 3D effect kind of. Uh, which is very nice. And then we have a little clip on the bottom. Uh, which clips in uh, towards Yoshi so this doesn't fall out. Now, on the back of it, this shows more, like, the functions of how actually the set works. So, you can see this is a lot of flat pieces. What I also noticed when I unboxed the set, that this is the junior-style base plates, which I'm surprised that they use for 18-plus sets, like, these big pieces. What kind of makes sense because they needed, like, big flat pieces. Uh, but I was kind of surprised that they actually added in junior-style bricks, which is kind of weird, but kind of cool that they actually added that in. Uh, but, you know, it's your generic little... And there's not much detail on here. Uh, we do have the hooks on here and, like, this little... Uh, these squishy pieces that actually, like, kind of sit. So, like, the build doesn't get, like, that much damage or something. Uh, then you can see how the mechanism works. It's one of these little, uh, like... I don't know what you could call it, like, sliding, holding... Like, I know these are used for a lot of modulars and, like, those open houses... Uh, so I think I feel like for the modulars, the Simpsons houses, uh, they use a lot of these, like these little like technic mechanism, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but then you can actually see how it actually works. Um, that's actually really nice, but it's a very very cool uh, little added in thing uh, that they added for Mario that you can actually take them out, which I never knew. I actually thought this was part of the set, but no, you can actually take that off. Now let's go take a look at Yoshi, and then we'll actually add him all in. But here is the man himself. Yoshi. Yoshi looks so good and I love the detail that they added on him. Firstly, the eyes, the like the mouth even, which is so crazy. Uh and I love how they actually also did the 3D effect of like most of all this like popping out kind of. Uh and it just looks very cool. I'm looking at the camera right now. It looks so awesome. Like I, you can see the 3D effect like coming out, uh which I love how they did that. Uh, but we have Yoshi's eyes. We have the different t uh, color of green. So we have, like, the dark green and then the light green. There's no lighter green uh, except, like, this background. But that's, like, not in Yoshi. So uh, they do have two different um, colors. Uh, we do have Yoshi's back uh, where Mario would be sitting at. And then we have Yoshi's feet on the bottom. And then we have Yoshi's hands, which is an orange. And it is honestly, like, a cool, cool little, like, set and like the angle of it how they made it and it's a little cool like display piece which is very cool uh and i i do like that a lot now looking at the bottom this is the grass area so we have a lot of like the grass hills uh the grass bottoms which is very nice and i love the detail that they use two different types of actually grass uh parts for this which is very very awesome i will actually be putting uh mario back on uh to the set and it's actually really easy you just basically slide them on uh, and that is very, very easy. It's not hard uh, to be doing that. Uh, it's it's an easy little snap in, out, and that kind of stuff. So it's very, very easy. Uh, but we do see the bottom uh, where we have uh, the different types of green. So we have, like, the dark uh, brown and then the lighter brownish color for, like, the dirt. Uh, and then we also have some of the green here. Uh, same thing goes with that as well. And then you can also see a bit of the green uh, for the background for like the hills, which is very very nice uh, that they added uh, But this is how both of them look on now and I do want to talk about how they look they look super awesome uh, The thing is what you do see is that when you put Mario on it does hide uh, His back and also a bit of there so kind of is nicer so you don't see those technique on the back uh, But it does look nice how Mario and Yoshi are very close together uh, Mario holding on to Yoshi uh, while Yoshi's you know helping out the man Mario, you know, trying to find Peach and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's very nice. I love how they, like, how these colors actually, like, work together, which is kind of insane. Like, these two shades of color just collide perfectly in, which is, like, I 
I didn't expect that, but it's like, yes, these two colors actually work very, very good in, uh, and I, I don't know why, it's look, it looks very, very cool, and like, as I said in the beginning of the video, it looks like a collector's piece, so, very, very cool uh, that we have. Now, taking a look at the back, now, I know a lot of people, when this set came out, a lot of people said that they did not like how this back uh, looked, most for the reason of it just is so much technic and it looks so ugly but you have to think about it if this is a set where you can actually move it there's a lot of functions this has to be out here now a lot of people could say well yeah lego could have done something where they could have blocked that off well at that point the price would have been more and it probably would have been like 200 or 300 more uh so you know i think they wanted to make it where the price was like like kind of good for like most consumers that are buying the set where it's like a hundred twenty dollar set uh so i feel like that's why they didn't bother doing anything in the back which i respect them doing that because then it would have made the price more expensive but then the other side is yes it does look ugly what i can see is that you can see a lot of technic parts like you can see the whole mechanism of the set uh it doesn't look that bad when you like you're putting it on a wall for instance so like if i would have put it on like a wall like right here like you wouldn't you wouldn't see it but i feel like you if you would have put it like on a like a side like this then you would have seen all these technic parts uh but we'll we'll go over all these technic parts as well that's the only thing i had to say uh but very cool uh, we have some levers here we'll try out we have some of the uh basic connections that actually go with yoshi on this part uh we do see the back of actually here and also the little uh tag that we're i'm super excited to be trying that out uh that would be awesome uh but we do have the hill back here as well we have some more techniques with actually a wheel piece using it for the mouth uh we have some of these little uh pieces as well uh for the mouth uh we have some of the uh the head uh even even this Technic piece um, used for, like, the mouth and, like, the nose as well. Uh, then we have the cape here as well. Uh, we have more of the, like, these little connection pieces uh, that keep Yoshi secure. So, actually, when he starts moving the lever down here, everything doesn't, like, fall apart. So, everything, like, stays in one part, which is nice. Uh, but, yeah, that's everything uh, in the back of this set. It looks very nice. I like it a lot uh, for how it is looking. But now, further ado... Let's go check out the function of this set. Uh, and we'll show off, firstly, we'll show off the walking animation. So uh, let's actually show that off. So here is how it actually looks. We'll put it right here. Uh, and we'll actually do the tongue, firstly. So this is how the tongue works, and it is so cool. Uh, it is, it's a weird thing, but it's like it works so good. And I love that actually what they did is that the tongue actually, like the mouthpiece in the nose actually goes back in which i love that they did that because if the if it would have just been open like this and the tongue would have been back you would have always had to like you know push it back and that kind of stuff which kind of sucks but i love that they actually added some like features in it where it actually closes in but it just looks so awesome that you know yoshi's tongue opens up <laughs> it's just it's awesome that they had it in all these little uh style of details it's just incredible but you can have so much fun with that as well but now with the walking animation, uh, this is actually how it would look. And you can see Mario's cape, Mar Lu like, this just looks awesome. Like, Mario's cape is moving, uh, Yoshi's feet and arms, and it just looks, you know, now they're, like, bouncing up and down, up and down. So it's like, you know, this looks, like, actually from the game, which is awesome that they added this in. But it just looks super, super cool. Uh, the, you know, the legs and the arms and the cape just all moving. And also, another cool thing is that, like, they kind of bounce. So, it actually looks like, you know, from a game. Like, kind of like the hills are a bit bouncy. So, you know, it has that realistic feeling to it. But it looks very cool. I love how, you know, this looks. And it's just, like, a little cool feeling uh, for this set that they added in. But now, further ado, let's actually check out uh, the electric piece. Or, like, the NFC tag. So we have Lego Luigi I'm going to be using for him. So, uh, firstly, what you actually do with this set is that you'll grab this set. Uh, on the back of it, that's another cool thing, is that they have this little piece that you can actually put out. Uh, or if you don't have the Lego Luigi or Lego Mario or any of the electronic figures, you can actually just put it back in. And it just looks completely like normal, normal. So it's like, it's very nice very convenient so if you want to not to have it out just put it back in and that's very very cool 
Now, I do want to take a look at the tag itself because there's actually a dragon coin on there. So you guys can actually see that a little dragon coin for this tag, which is awesome. And I love that they actually added this in for this set. Uh, so if you actually do have the Mario sets, hey, you know, this actually works. And it's, I love how they actually added it because it makes sounds for uh, these sets. And so uh, we have Lego Luigi and let's go try out this update. I am so excited to be seeing this. I can't wait. This is going to be my first reaction to this. So let's see. Oh, wait. Yo! What? Yo! Oh, my God. It's like a... Oh, my God. That's awesome. That is awesome. What the heck? Oh, my God. I actually kind of want to watch this fully. Let's see, actually, let's see. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my God, what? So we have actually a checkpoint there. Another drag coin. That is awesome. So actually, when you move this, it will actually look like it's actually from... Look, like this works so good. Wow. That is awesome. Oh my god. That is sick. And then actually, oh wow. Okay. That is sick. Honestly, that is one of my favorite features about this set. They did not have to add that in. But the attention to detail that they just did on this set is incredible like i did not expect there to be a little actually like animation like for mario world which is awesome like they actually added that in mario was there yoshi like luigi even said hey mario like you what like what he always does when like you pair the lego mario with him so that's just awesome that like that actually is so it's like that is insane like it is so awesome and i love the animation they that they actually have for the checkpoint the Koopa Show, the Dragon Coins, all of that. But man, this set, man. Oh my god. This set is one of my favorites. And it gets a 10 out of 10 for me. It is probably one of these sets that is like... Okay, it looks ugly behind. You know, like, you, you, you can't agree. But the, like, the attention to detail on, like, the colors, the background... The articulation with, you know, how actually they walk, uh, even with the tongue as well, how that opens, uh, and even the little uh, NFC tag for the digital characters that you can actually use, which is incredible. And it is it's like, this feels very cool. And I, I can't wait what like Lego does with most of these sets, like for the 18 plus Mario sets, I can't wait what the next one is going to be. Maybe we'll actually get more Mario World sets, which is awesome. Hopefully, we get, like, different franchises. Maybe, like, Mario Bros. 3. Mario 64. We already got the 64 block. Maybe we can get more. Maybe we can actually get some of the new Super Mario Bros. Like, the 2D Mario, 3D, Odyssey, Super Mario 3D World, new Super Mario Bros. U. Like, there is so much that they can actually do with this theme. And I'm loving this set so far. This is one of my favorite, like, sets for the Mario Wave this year so far. And it looks so awesome. Uh, like, and it's just the play features, uh, the toys. Like, the even even the, with the electric figure that you actually use with the set uh, was probably one of my favorite Easter eggs. And I did not expect them that you can actually do that. Like, I actually realized that when I was building the instruction that, yes, you can actually do that. And that was so awesome that they did. But, man, this is one of my favorite sets uh, for this year so far and i i recommend if you guys have the chance you should buy the set this is one of the best mario display pieces for adult fans from even lego or nintendo like you do not have to like lego and you will still like this display piece this just looks so amazing but yeah guys that's what i gotta say about the set one of my favorite sets 10 out of 10 i would recommend it 
But yeah, guys, that's going to have to do it. Don't forget, if you guys are new, to comment, like, and subscribe. It would help with the channel a lot. We're trying to reach 2,500 subscribers, so it would mean a lot if you guys could hit that like button, and it just means a lot. Also, don't forget to put on those notifications so you don't miss another LEGO Super Mario video. But yeah, guys, that's going to have to do it, and I'll see you guys later for another LEGO Mario review. See you guys.